Hey, this is Uncle Al from Amazing Collectibles. And if you want to do it right, you do what? Uh, if you... Uh, no, 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 I, I got wait, this. Wait, wait, uh, If you want to do it right, collect what you like. Okay, well, I got this. I got, I got the first part. What's going on, Team Nerd Her Podcast? It is Thursday night, live and direct, Mondo Mail Call Show. The mantra is, if you want to do it right, collect what you like. We are so stoked to have one-third of the Pressable Defects, the man of the hour, New York's finest, Hello. Jay DeButcher 105. What's what is up, Jay? guys? Thank you guys for having me. Can't wait to get it uh, kicked off and started. Been excited about this all week, guys. Yo, man, oh, man we're so excited. Fucking stoked to have you, bro. Like you, you're one of us, bro. Like in the backstage, you're one of us, man. You oh, dude, murder, yeah, bro. yeah, you, bro, you Let's know go. it. Let's go, I'm, bro. Uh, I'm super stoked to be here, guys. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for having me. It's gonna be a good night. Let's go. Long time coming yeah, for sure, man. Welcome to the Long West time. Coast. <laughs> the best coast is the West Coast, as they say, but. That's not true, Jay. You could tell us a little different, you know? <laughs> yeah. so, I, I think it don't, it don't matter the coast. It matters the people, man. As long as you're cool. That's you right, know, man. You know? Yeah. We're, we're yeah, out here yeah, in California, man. man. How's the weather over there? You're Where are you at? Today, today was warm. Today was nice, but it's supposed to – it was like in the 60s, bro. but it's supposed to drop wow. back down into the 40s. <laughs> out here in San Diego, when it hits 60s, bro, we're like, oh, fuck, it's cold, man. There's <laughs> 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 some sissy asses over here, man. Sissies, bro, I, still, bro. I, got, I still got a pile of snow outside my house, man. It's, it's, oh, yeah, it's melting. In a way, but it's still that's there. a four letter word in my eyes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta say, man, East Coasters, man, you guys are tough as nails, bro. Mm -hmm. Californians, mm -hmm. we're fucking pussies, bro. Like, yeah, oh, we're not doing that. that. Yeah, no, I wish I was in San I'm gonna retire in San Diego. How about that? There that's where better I'm have a good fucking yeah. retirement fund then. San Diego. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bro, bro, geez, come kick it with me, bro. We'll get Chinese food mm -hmm. all the time. You yes. know what I'm saying? There we go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> SDCC official. Hey, we got the best burritos out here, man. Oh, I love, dude. That I love Mexican sure. tacos. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's, I, when I, I went I, to New York, you guys had nothing for Mexican food. No, nah, bro. Here. Yeah, nothing. Bro, I'll take you to spots out here, bro, in San Diego, bro. You'd be like, fucking damn. Like, yeah, damn. I, yeah. I've been, I've been out to Cali twice, man. I, the Mexican food was where in Cali. Though? I've been to L.A. Um, L.A. is uh, good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got good right. Mexican food. Full time. Oh, yeah. yeah. And when I was one of the second time I was there, we drove up to Mammoth Mountains, which was crazy because Ooh, it went nice. from like 80 degree weather to 13 feet of snow in like an eight hour drive. And I was yeah, like, man. holy shit, this is crazy. Yeah, so, man, yeah. So That's the one thing so about crazy. California is you could snowboard, one, snowboard and surf on the same day, bro. I've yeah, done that's, it. Dude, yeah. That, is, that is insane. It's the same shit, bro. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get that puff puff pass the rest of the team nerd heard podcast. What's going on, JR? Mind your manners and mind your P's and Q's. Fuck okay? that. Uh, <laughs> I, I have to first I first have to ask. We all saw in the back room, you see Steve dancing like this. Do you have tassels on underneath? Maybe if you want, <laughs> hey man, if they give us a super <laughs> chat, I might stand up, y'all. But I know you got that hey. thoroughbred ass, man, just like and you just neigh like a horse. <laughs> Anyways, I'm JR, your resident asshole. Uh, I guess I'll be sharing that with Jay tonight. Yep, um, Raider fan, Star Wars fan, Marvel fan. Um, what's up, Nick? How are you doing, sir? You awake? No, oh, Nick's frozen. frozen, so fuck him. Nick's frozen. Uh, we'll go down to Rob. There he goes. There he goes. Nick, is he coming back to life? You're alive, Nick. Is, is he doing a famous hey. Rob? I think he uh, might be good. doing a famous Rob. You're good, brother. I, I don't know, man. I think I'm having connection issues. 
You're good. You look good now. You look go, good now. Go You're ahead, good. Nick. Am I here now? Uh, you're here now, sort of. Kind of Am I here? Uh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yo, this is Nick. <laughs> yeah, Nick Fire Cell Comics. Uh, yeah, apparently I'm having some connection issues tonight, so uh, I'm gonna keep it moving. What up, Rob? What up, Nick? Mr. Connection Issues this is Rob Runner, Haven, mumbling. Uh, what's going on, guys? It's fucking Thursday night, long day. Just came back from the comic book shop. Let's move it on to motherfucking Alonzo. Thanks a lot, Rob. This is Alonzo, a.k.a. Comics and Pops, your comic book nerd and your pop culture fanatic over Ian. And yo, what's up, y'all, man? Welcome to the show, man. Welcome, Jay, man. appreciate you, bro, man. I was on the show, man, uh, with Sister Red Spine Ticks when it when it when history was made, man. Oh when, yeah, it uh, gets burnt. It gets burnt. See, St- Sith gets mad when I come on, but he loves it. I know, I know, he loves it. <laughs> Yo, that was a, that was that was a show when Roger became a superstar, man. That <laughs> Roger, was Roger's always you, been a superstar. The, the butcher made made it made the, the the pressable defects made Roger the superstar, bro. Like. You know, um, like I think Crown Black, I think Crown Black made Roger the superstar, <laughs> bro. That, that was the show. That was the show when them. Jay when Jay was riding a broom, bro. I remember that shit. I was like, oh, oh. God, dude. you know, I was and I in the I'm, venom pants, right? And I and never go. Quiet, I got the venom bro. pants on now. <laughs> I know. The, yeah. That's Official. when I was drooling. That's when I was drooling over your ass. Remember, like, oh, oh man, I remember that, man. Holy smokes! Yeah. Yeah. Giving you no, googly man. eyes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, but welcome, Jay, man. But welcome, I Jay. Bro. I appreciate it, man. you, man. Yeah. No, man. I, and I'm, I'm uh, Ian Hoodrat Comics. I'm just your uh, your schizophrenic uh, collector of all things real and digital. And I think Nick needs to introduce himself too because he was stuck for a minute. Go ahead, man. Yo, you guys can hear me now. Awesome. Yep. Yes. This is, uh, Nick from Fire. Yeah, Nick Fire Cell Comics. You know, Marvel collector. Your uh, you know, Marvel nerd. I guess I'm a Star Wars nerd now too. I've been collecting yeah. a lot of Star Wars stuff, so I think I owe that to you guys. Um, yeah, and then uh, so who's gonna finish me off? Is it Ian Alonzo? Oh, I'm not gonna Steve finish you off. Oh, it's oh, gonna whoa, be whoa, Steve. Whoa. Pause. Whoa. Your boy yeah. up here. It's your boy Steve <laughs> wants to finish, finish you off. <laughs> not like that, brother. Not like that. <laughs> Little polish the knobs. It's your boy Steve, <laughs> aka Hip Hop's in me. Underscore comics. Underscore collectibles. And I'm just your one show scale collector, comic book lover, and chaser of all things nostalgic. But E, should we let them know that we're twitching at them? Like oh, the, we like twitching, the spine, bro. Like spine ticks. Like when spine ticks drops knowledge, and they tell you that's you got to move it. over to Twitch. That's what you do. You move over to Twitch. Should we give the shout outs to the crew out in the live chat? Yo, let's go, bro. Let's just give them a shout out, let, man. Let's light them up. What's going on, Sith Lordly? Everywhere and everywhere. Every Mr. Show. Mr. Oh. Twitch himself, bro. Mr. Twitch himself. He's the one <laughs> showing right, us the way. Yep. Yo, he, he's showing us the dark path. Yo, we got Uncle Rudy. What's going on, Uncle Rudy? We got one third of the Power Pack Wesley's comic collection. What's going on, my brother? We got my indie brother, Sparks Comics, all strand comic collection. We got Maddie Forge. We got Lady Sith. We deep. We got. Let's see. We're we going down the way. We're going down the way. We got Guy Forge, my man. Guy Forge. What's going on, Guy? Guy. Rage and Cajun Comics. No good comics. What's going on, Justin? What's going on? We got Uni X. We got Uni X. We got T-Rav Comics. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Mad love, mad love, y'all. Thank you for joining us. We got Comic Book Canon. Dang, just scrolling down. We got PKL. What's going on, PKL? We got Hyper Combo Comics. What's going on, my brother? Let's see. We got newbie. We got newbie. What's newbie going on? What's up, newbie? Sean Cook. What's cooking? What's cooking in the chef? We got. Let's see. I think. I think we're good. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Buddy. I, no, 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 no. no. We got Mr. Lucky. Lucky. Well, Mr. Hold Lucky on, Sam. I got a text, bro. I got a text, man, from somebody just now. Uh-oh. And Nick, Nick, you're gonna like this, Nick. What? Someone's in the club, bro. Ah, uh-huh. we got another Someone's- club member. Uncle Rudy's in the club. Door 174, bro. Grab, jump in the crypto gang, bro. Welcome to the club, the fourth member, bro. Fourth member. I'm going to bring it out, man. I hope you're talking about your comic and not something else. That's Uncle Rudy, bro. Yeah, my comic. There we go. What? Did you? Oh, wait, let me see this. We in the Drop the knowledge. We got it? There we go. Oh, you in the club too, bro. You in the club, man. You in the club, To the moon, Alice. To, to the, the moon, moon. Oh, man. Crypto to the moon. There we go. 
We got Copy 801 in the house too, man. We got Azores Tigers. What's going on, my brother? Real Root Sick. What Real Root Six? What's going on, brother? And I think we're all caught up. We got Comics yeah. Kings. What's going on, Brandon? What's my going buddy on, Sean brother? Cook is here too. That's right. He's, he's the chef cooking. Damn, dude. And so did you get Copy? Copy. Yeah, yeah, we got Copy. Yeah, copy. Yeah, yeah, copy. Yeah, yeah, copy. We ready to roll. Who's who? Who's gonna spin the Wiener Rooney and freaking drop this mail call like a motherfucker? That wasn't even a word. Who the hell said spin a Rooney? We ain't giving no giveaways today. I thought you said Wiener Rooney. Oh, whatever. Wiener Rooney giving it someone. Oh, oh, you heard right up the alley. He we promised, the man, that we'll be giving something away, and we will, man. So if uh, if you could start that up, man, uh, Alonzo, uh, we got. Even though uh, JT couldn't make it because he had some emergencies, but we promised we'll be giving away something, man. So we will be. So don't worry. Oh, no, JT. Right. Most definitely. Yeah, we will be definitely. giving Steve's virginity away. What? <laughs> oh, bro. Long time that's ago, a, brother. That's another reason to come to Cali, the Butch. Oh, there you go, bro. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> hey. The butch, butch. Comic shopping, <laughs> taking cherries. I'm, in, I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> Line them up. All right, who's going all first, you man? The stores, the stores on the Twitch. Yes, see, who's man. Yes, you said this is JR first, man. What's up? Send the asshole first. Okay. And that's, yeah. Let's see. I got I got a small week. Uh, I had that's to get the, the one first store for uh, Protector Valley Road. Oh, hell yes. Mm -hmm. I just love crazy. this cover. Yeah, man. Vicious. Yeah. That's nice, man. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll avoid this out for everyone. So, uh, Black Flag. How the fuck do you get your shit so fast, dude? I'm Damn. still waiting on lots of comments I, in this shit. Right. He's stealing my thunder. He's and, stealing and my thunder. I, I will say this. You're going to be these jealous, guys, bro, because we could. Yeah. <laughs> these guys know how to pack shit. Like, it came in a black box. Yeah, yeah. All wrapped in black wrapping. It looked fucking pimp. Bronze and Modern's Gods in the house. Bronze and Modern's Gods in the house. Finally got this from Line Breakers. That David Max sick, yo. Yeah, I wish it was the virgin one, but you can't all have virgins, we all, right? We, we all do, bro. <laughs> uh, swipe this from my local store, the the one per store for number two. Ah, stealing my thunder. Sorry. It's big Rob, then, dude, you always close the show out, man. Hard, dude. Pause on that. <laughs> and then to work on my Daredevil run, I picked up a nice, nice little 20 center one. So once I this is number eighty two. Once I get eighty six, I'll have all the way down to fifty. Full oh. run. So that's it for me. Uh, let's see what Alonzo's got. What do you got, Cyclops? <laughs> all right, I got a couple things. So just like you, uh, Black Cape Comics came, Black Flag Comics came through, right? <laughs> I was like, where's mine? That was a nice man. Uh, Black, and and and, get and, you. and East Side came through for me too, so I got the shadow. I'm so mad uh, I didn't get one. How much? <laughs> are those, uh, how much are the shadows going for? I missed that on the shadow. No and, I I don't uh, know. I haven't even taken a look. I just got yeah, them today, and I'm like, I'm stoked. And just like uh, Jr. the last week. Uh, yeah. that's a good one. Isn't that one still available? Oh, that is a nice one, bro. <laughs> That's what's his name? What's his name of that character? Well, well, that's a wanted comics. That is uh, yeah, that is the eye of uh, that cra yeah the crazy yeah. guys you guys were talking about yeah. And then uh, the David Mack Demon Days from Black Cape Comics. Wait, <laughs> yeah, that Burned that was down. a small run. <laughs> yeah, it's still that's available. Nice, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay, they're calling, bro. They're calling. They're the people calling want you, bro. The people oh, want you, bro. They want you, Jay. <laughs> Yellow I Snow Comics. I like that cover. I, I like that cover. I that was. I didn't really go for those peaches, man. That, oh, I not, like that one. That then, one. Oh, I had to get this. Let me see. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, from Dark Horse. Oh, right. The Jim Lee Artist Edition. I mean, holy crap. Yeah, it's so dope, man. Yeah. Yo, that so is dope. sick, dude. Yeah, my oh, God. my God. And then... So... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You get it for 130 right now on Amazon. Hey, That's where I got it. Hey, like, hey, hey wait, 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 wait. Alonzo, Alonzo. Yeah. Hold on, man. Hold on real quick. Um, Hold on real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
<laughs> Diesel, yeah. damn. You know, be so happy damn. in the house, bro. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Damn. <laughs> What's up, fellas? That's for JR. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, so, so uh, this is our this this is our uh Diesel Dan is our um our the butcher man, the butcher, so oh nice man. Now it's two of us. Over here. <laughs> he on that one you there. can see I wanted to burn this down, bro. So <laughs> welcome, man. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. No, but then like they actually had the wraparound cover for uh yeah, X Men so, One like, in it. Jim Lee done a boxing on YouTube. Wow. Yeah, it's wow. Like, yeah, it's so wow. Cool. That's pretty amazing. So it's all his X Men stuff. It's all um, his Jim Lee X Men stuff. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's sick, yeah. dude. And it's all his pencils and the uh, inks from Scott Williams. I mean, it is unbelievable. Yeah. That right there is my favorite Magneto rendition ever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. X Men One ever. It is. I mean, all this stuff. I love it. I mean, you want some Magneto? I mean, my God. Yeah, it's so oh. good. Whoo! And, and yeah. all his splendor, dude. Just putting it down. Yeah. We're gonna put it on. I was looking for the uh, the Psylocke uh, bikini pick in here, but no, it's not there. <laughs> oh. I was looking for it. I was like, come on, it has Especially to be in that here. Page. No, <laughs> it's in the omnibus, bro. Yeah, <laughs> but I wanted it here. Damn. Yeah, you got Azores. He's like, I needs that. You got a coffee tail big enough for that, for that shit? Um, you, I'll I'll make space. Oh, I'll make space. That's, that's, that, that's that leisurely reading, bro. But yeah, this artist editions it's phenomenal. Like uh, to to uh, Big Rob's yeah. point, pick it up in Amazon. It's one hundred thirty bucks. It's it's the best way to go. Don't don't buy it anywhere else because it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, uh, where's Doc? I put this up here. Where's Doc, bro? He needs some Dan in his life. Yeah, yeah. Doc J, dude. Lie. I'm a little jealous. So that's all I have for my mail call. Um, since uh, we do have the Butch in the house, you know, we got to pass it to him. Good. Right, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Let's, let's about to bring it down, bro. All right. I got a light week, but I got some good stuff. I got some okay stuff. I had to grab a Berserker 1 in 25 grand oh, pack. Yeah, for sure, bro. Nice. I had to grab that's one copy. One, and uh, Ages yeah. Comics was doing a, a contest where you could win a uh, the autographed Keanu Reeves one. So I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let me get it. It sounds like a cool contest. So I have mm -hmm. yet to read this, but I hear good things. I hear it's gory and a quick read. So oh, yeah. yep. can't That's wait to good. dive into this. It's what a comic should be, man. It based, it's like all on the art, man. It t art tells a story. Even though it's gory as fuck, the art tells a story, man. That's what I want. I just you know, I I picked it up, man. I love Keanu. So yeah, I'm like, you know good. what? Let me let me give it a read. It, it's the, the market's flooded with that shit, though. There's Berserker yeah, yeah. everywhere. Oh, it's crazy, you know, man. super, yeah. super saturated. But mm. I grabbed the Matt Forge book, Fantastic Four 272. That's Ooh, the first that Nathaniel covers. Richards, man. Um, nice nice, nice little spec book, you know, that book good condition on. for eBay. That looks clean. That yeah, looks it looks clean. It, it's clean. Oh, my goodness. So grab that. Um, the Loki series is coming out. So I had to grab the timekeepers. You see the statues in the uh, the yep. preview there. Yep. So this yep. will probably heat up again. Grab this. I think I grabbed this on Macari cheap. Really? Clean, another clean copy. But hey, you know, a five dollar book that could that I could flip at fifty in, in a month or That's, two to yep. buy something what is it? better. Amazing, amazing. Uh, what, what numbers one is that? I'm gonna write that down, bro. That's West Coast Avengers sixty two. It's the first timekeepers. Yeah. All right. And if I you go you. back and watch that Loki trailer, you'll see them yep, in this yep. book. So. That was a book to grab. This book, I don't know if you guys follow Fat Stack Comics. This is we something I grabbed. So this is Doctor Strange number 60. So Wanda and Doctor Strange have been in books before, but never at the same place at the same time. This is that book right here. You know it's going to happen in you yep. know Doctor Strange 2. Mm -hmm. So grabbed a couple of copies of these. Nice oh, clean copies. Another book you nice. could get cheap, you know. It has Spectrum on it. It has Dracula in it. It has uh, Dark Hold in it. So, yeah, again, first go. time Wanda and Doctor mm. Strange are at the same in the same place at the same time. So mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, another two books I've been grabbing a lot of are the Immortal Iron Fist number one. Oh hell yeah, love that book. It, yeah, this is the first appearance of Orson Randall. He was the mm. Iron Fist right before uh, Danny Rand. Mm -hmm. So. 
You yeah. never know what direction Marvel could go in. It, could they could go back in time and do an Iron Fist? I think that would be yeah. incredible. You know, did he show up at the very end of Iron Fist, the second series? This, yes, the second series. Yep, and you see him in costume there. Yeah, in, in the traditional costume, not a. Uh, don't get me started on Iron Fist that series. <laughs> well, we we know the series sucks. <laughs> oh, right? oh, horrible, absolutely, dude! Yeah. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely. But, it, it, it so hurt me in every single word. word so. Oh, the so show every time horrible. I see these in bins, I grab them because, like I said, you, you know, you never know. And then I grab the second print. There's only nine thousand two hundred of these. Oh, that's a cool second print. Whoa, that's that yeah. cool. Yeah. Whoa! So, that's, huh. I There's some feed for you, Dan. I have never Whoa. seen that. Hey. It's a hard to find. You'll see like two or three on eBay. Huh. But again, hey, if they go back and they do Orson instead of Danny Rand, which would, I think would be awesome, you know, back in time, old Japanese mm -hmm. stuff, that, that'd be sick. And then this Immortal Iron Fist number two is ah. uh, first uh, Wu Aoa Shi, and she's the first female Iron Fist. Okay. So. The way things Marvel's moving things now, you never know what you're gonna get. A female, you know, so it's always in dollar. I love that art. Yeah, that I, art is so good. I good. grabbed that. And then lastly, at a flea market, I found Legions of Monsters number oh. eight. Just an awesome bar cover, Morbius and Blade. Hey, how how are the flea markets on the East Coast, bro? Because oh, they're nice. You could find oh. dude, me and oh. Matt Forge found so many gems right after covid happened we hit them up right away and we found stacks of like stacks of gold dude um dude. i found that marvel uh that adam blue marvel number one i found what? that for, for two bucks it came You're back nine, yeah nine, six. Ooh, oh my what? god i found the gore the god butcher uh what? Fourth Dada Gunder number two. I found that two bucks. Yeah, we actually oh, we, we first the uh, Amadeus show we found for a dollar, no backboard, not even oh. in a bag, just loose in a bin. So oh, it was man. it was definitely good, man. Now things we, dried up a little bit. Um yeah. but you never know what you're gonna find, you know. Collections. I, we put our names all over Craigslist, all over IG. So I we don't do as good as very Gary, but we do good. I know, man. I hit up. I hit the ones up here in San Diego, but I usually leave with just a plant, bro. It's all yeah. right. <laughs> it's all right up now. Where nah, I am, man, we're I'm, over here. I'm like 40 minutes from the city up here. It's kind of like the stick, so not too many comic book people, but you get some guys that know what they're doing, you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like, like you, like, like you. <laughs> you yeah, so even you I don't know what up. I'm looking for. Sometimes I always look at Matt. I'm like, Yo, Matt, what is this? He's like, Grab it, grab it, you know. So we go we go back and forth. Guy comes out, he picks up books all the time. Guys always pick it, picking out like dope Transformers books and GI Joe books and Thundercats and all that. So we got a good trio, man. You know, and we all just you know, if it's a book I like, guy will hand it to me. If it's a book guy likes, I'll hand it to him, man. It's all you know, all love, man. When we go out shopping. If I'm ever down there, bro. This you gotta take me, man. I'm, I'm oh down. yeah, you got. I'm telling you, man. Like backstage, you guys got to come to Terrificon and just party. Damn, you know, bro. Party, yeah, might just, party first, might just and then comic book second. You know, it's a, it's a good weekend. Yeah. That's what I'm down for, bro. I'm, I'm we'll down get shit out there. I bring a lot of dollar oh, bills. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I bring a lot yeah. of dollar bills. Sis keeps <laughs> saying how he he wants it. You know, he's he's gonna try to talk to nerdy girl. Maybe buy a mystery <laughs> box or something. <laughs> 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 all right man who you want to pass it on to bro it's up to you man uh, i'll go steve man let's see what you got brother steve. all right all right man thank you thank you dude uh jr just stole my thunder with those so i'm just and alonzo too so i'll just go and throw those up bam they we're, came just, in. we're just lucky we're just, we're just banging on rob pause <laughs> yeah man i got that uh gabriel delato from oh uh, that's so cool oh, that's nice yeah dude uh, see we got that uh tedesco Today yeah. I got her yesterday. Hey Jr., don't be hating, Fuck bro. Spider Man. Damn, dude. <laughs> that's, <laughs> hey, that's the one right there. That that's one. that's yeah. cool, dude. On fire, that. man. I wanted that one. In the worst way, right? Mm -hmm. You get that in Huckley Berserker. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I like that one, bro. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. cover. Man. Bring that one yeah. up. Bring that one up. I want to see that. that There's that's, a lot that's a of cool covers, bro. That's man. sick. Oh shit. <laughs> He ain't, he ain't fucking there's around, a lot yeah. of covers though, man. Like I'm probably yeah. net like so. If someone gives me that book, I'll probably never get that book. I, I, got, the, I, got, so I got the cover. A. 
I just got, I got cover A just to read it, bro. One. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah I got, just, I got just, a cover just a hint if someone wants to give it to me. <laughs> you can read mine, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna give you Next something. Like it may not be Berserker, but they'll give you something. <laughs> yeah. The thing to haunt guys, Guy Forge's nightmares. Oh, there you Whoa. go. Oh, oh. That's, there you go. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which that one was that? That, that one. Yeah. That was crazy, us. dude. Scott, Scott's collectibles. Scott's collectibles. Ooh, that was sick. Strong, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, super fast. And then we got some wanted comics goodness. Mm. We got the Virgin. We got the trade, and then they threw in this book for free. Oh, oh damn, bro! Where's my free book? <laughs> yeah, I got a dope. You, know, you got to have that lady luck, bro. You know. And then uh, we got that one ten, and then the one in twenty five from Golden Apple. Gotta love Golden Apple, man. Nice. Oh, for sure. Yo, man. And and, uh, that, Hyper that, knows that, that, yeah. that second print of Berserker is pretty dope, man. Um, Tim, the Canadian oh, yeah, hunter. Oh, bro, he put that shit up. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, man. That foil, but like, like, like we all said, man, that was all oversaturated. But that's enough for me, man. I, I didn't get any action figures, no nothing. But I just got those comics. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and give it over to Nick. What's going on, brother? What do you hey, got? Yo. Okay, let's see what I got. Crypto uh, gang, bro. Crypto gang. Crypto <laughs> gang. That's right. That's right, man. Hey, I got a lot of crypto. I I can't show you that though. Come on, the but you want to um, you, you know you want to get a Thor one seventy four with this, bro. Let's so, go, man. Let's go. Let's I think everybody's already day, showed bro. this stuff, but uh, I got I got the cover A finally because uh, I got it from Yellow Snow Comics. I got. Ten of these things, Jesus. right? Um, oh yeah, you but, can make well, it back two dollars each. You know, but you know, I got this like the first pair as well. So, yeah, there you go. So, there you go. That's yeah, dope. so I got ten of these and or ten of these and one of these. So that's pretty a pretty sick deal from Yellow Snow. I, they haven't done one since. I want them to do another deal like that. That'd be great. But that's the one to get because that's the first appearance of the Dengar or Dengar yeah, or whatever. I also like that one in twenty five of the of um the uh issue four i just haven't got it yet the the, the yeah. pink background and stuff like that it's, it's, it's dope uh and then these came in uh they oh used... oh the bird oh yeah the Gleason's. Gleason's. oh yeah. yeah oh yeah bro it's a keeper bro yeah these came i like in. the red one i like the red one yep 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 uh i like the red one too it, it's i don't i guess i gotta go to the comic book shop and pick up my blue one uh yeah. and then we have uh alonzo and i have the white one coming in um <laughs> let's see and then uh let's see i got this bad boy here too nice. right, you real... had some x-men yeah. i love that cover uh, you gotta respect yeah, that cover yo. It's, yeah it's the second appearance i just like the cover man it's, it's... But that one's that. underrated yeah. that one's one underrated one. man one of my underrated favorite cover. i have a 96 on that one and this came in Ooh. Yeah. oh there you go Ooh. yeah so I'm really Very stoked nice. because it has like the call outs. I always hate it when like they don't do the call outs when it's obvious first appearances. Yeah. You know, like so like this I, I pre ordered this online, uh, I think through eBay. I think it was mm -hmm. like sixty yeah. bucks, sixty sixty five dollars or something like that. You know, so hey, you can't beat that because it's it's cheaper than me trying to like buy two or three copies, press those and then like and submit hoping. them and, and hoping, mm -hmm. you know. So let the other guy do the work. Sixty bucks. <laughs> I, I ain't got time for that. I just made a comic book. Um, and uh, that's it, man. That's all I had. A light week. I'm just stoked to get a couple more slabs in. Crypto Gang and Star Wars, man. It's all Star Wars right now. It's, it's this. Yeah, man. Uh, if I'm, you was gonna I, jump on, you might as well jump on now, man, because all the other books are so like hard to get, man, and expensive as hell. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Man. I'm a little jealous of Steve. He's got that uh, that one in twenty five of the uh, IDW book. Those IDW books, they're gonna be good. Like, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yep, yep. Yeah, I've, I've learned up, from man. Wise Rob. Wise yep, Rob. Cool. So, hey, Rob, what, what do you got, buddy? Have you gone yet? No, I have not. All right. Well, on Comic yeah. Exclusives already hinted they're doing another one of their books. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. They haven't said it's Star Wars or not. They, but they, they, they haven't, but it's probably Star Wars. All right, I got one toy. Uh, so the original one I sold a while back for like three fifty, and I bought a new one for like ten bucks. So yay! Oh, go. nice. Yeah, nice. man. Those she was were those those the the um the, uh, the OG first one. ones are worth fuck, bro. Yeah, I sold that for three fifty. OG one. Yeah. This one I paid ten bucks. That's uh, that's vaulted, yo. 
Yeah. Is that market even cracking anymore? I mean, oh. that thing is gone left, bro. Yeah, it will. They won't pull that shit on NFTs, man, right, Nick? They don't pull that shit on NFTs, fucking making stupid shit like that after one was like worth five hundred dollars, you know? Well, like, who so knows, man? Saying. It's it's a it's a future. We'll find out, but no man, <laughs> you know. Let's start with a hardcover. I got myself a little uncanny X Men volume four. The oh, oh, oh. Yeah, That's bro. Thick. I'm Good waiting job, for my um, oh, mine was so late to shit, man. I ordered that same Omni and it still hasn't come. Yeah, it's this issue uh, 176 to 193, X-Men Annual 8, Kitty Pride and Wolverine 1 through 6, X-Men and Alpha Flight 1 and 2, and Marvel Fanfare 40. I have Damn. all four volumes now. Damn, so man, open, open. Me to, I, I'll open. Sure, I'll open it real quick. Uh, but, uh, I actually, my other X-Men, uh, the Jim Lee one, volume 2 arrived, but I'm going to wait another week to pick that up. So I just Ooh, picked this one up. Nice. Yeah, these are not cheap. They run you about 120, 125. For yeah, there, so, so Rob, if you go on in stock trades, you yeah, get I know. half yeah. off, brother. <laughs> yeah. In stock trades? Dude, the butcher yeah. Like, yeah. I'm over here riding a pen in stock. What 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 again? In stock trades. In stock trades and also cheap graphic novels.com. Yep. They both they both do it. I know I, I watch Jim oh, bro. Big I watch Jim Mint. In stock. Here I'll show you. There you go. Oh, oh, I like that man. cover. That's an underrated cover. I just like that, the, the pops. That mini series, the Wolverine and Kitty Pride one, is actually really cool. Those are yeah. such key yeah. books, man. Yeah, they are cheap. Right, they're oh, sitting back man. in this I, thing. I right love now. it, Big Rob. Yeah, okay. I'll show you the cover for that one. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm you're making Omni me bus. regret not picking up that Omni. <laughs> if it's X Men Omni, always grab it, dude. Those always fucking bolt. Be careful, yeah, so. Steve. Once you get in the Omnis, man. Dude, yes. I, I got the Miles Morales, and I'm thinking about it, man. Ah, uh, so uh, you already got a little bit of the drug, man. You're you're done for. Uh, you <laughs> guys, you guys. Omni and comics. That's the trifecta of doom. Dude, come in, yeah, dude. I love oh, nice came around, guys, dude. Damn. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Little uh, Shadows of the Lambs. So I, I picked up my books for the last two weeks, and I didn't go last week, so I'm going to show some of the highlights on this one. Uh, I put in this book. Oh, yeah. you got that book. You I, got I, it, I, huh? You guys, the book keeps popping off. Everyone was talking so much shit, and the book's $20. Is it $20? Is it? Yeah. What's it's got to be because there's so many first appearances in it. Oh. I should have I should have bought the one in one hundred when I was on eBay for like one twenty. The barber shop. Yo, the barber the one shop. in one hundred is crazy. Yeah, I got uh, yeah, I yeah, that whole Jim Lee man. Uh, Gotta love it. Covers. I know. Hey. I know. Debucci and and Maddie and the uh, guy were talking about that um, in the new comic book day, dude. I know you guys yeah, brought that, it up, that, dude. That's basically Strange Academy for X Men, you know. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But it, isn't it like it's in alternate the universe or something like that? But right? the, the thing is, X Men always mm. have. I don't know. So X-Men's I, universe is so fucked up that they can have like seven timelines going at the same time and yeah. it's all canon. So yeah. I read it's it, how it, it is. It's, in, it's it's actually happening now. Yeah. It, it's 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 crazy. I mean, it, the first issue is just setting everything up. I, I don't even know what's going on. They didn't go to Krakoa. They stayed behind somewhere else and the X-Men are going to try to figure that shit out why they're over there and separated from the rest of the media. So we'll see. Yep. A little Batman 106, and I got where is it at? Where is that? This month, that's the wrong oh, one. Oh, one. Oh, oh, shit. one out of 25. Damn, Batman looks so oh, sad. Man. Yeah, dude, yeah. That, that, uh, he got a chin on him, dude. He can take a shot. <laughs> you know what, man? Is Miracle Molly gonna be a so thing or sad. what? Is Miracle Molly gonna be a thing or <laughs> no? Yeah, well, I'm I'm in the Federation game, dude. So, uh, and also the Joker number one. So, that, yeah, that, that Joker is yeah, that's that crazy. Yeah. Did you pick that up, Jay? I know you're no, a Joker I fan, didn't. bro. Yeah, no? I didn't pick. It. I gotta pick that up. The next one is the um, the Miracle Molly one, or is it the is it the Miracle Molly or the um, that Robin one? I remember? I got the blue one. I didn't get the red one. But I got the blue one. On that, Echo, Echo. We got the echo. Got it, me. All right. All right. What's, what else you got? A little Star Wars. Star Wars. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Highlights. A, that one look, 25. Look at that cover. That's nice. I still think it looks like she's pissing the subway. I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, she, <laughs> she totally is pissing on the subway. Look at that shit. Well, is it, is it because of her way. hands placement? Yeah, in her pocket? It's like she's looking over her shoulder like, y'all aren't looking at me while I'm taking a piss, right? The <laughs> Come the on. Yeah. Next stall, buddy. <laughs> Keep and on, also, bitch. Also a little one, uh, little one in ten. Rona. Nice. nice. How much did you pay for yours, Rob, if you don't mind asking? Uh, I think 25 Okay, I paid 30 so I was just seeing. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I've mentioned this before, but uh, Heavy Metal, I love this cover, man. That is a cool cover. Yeah, nice. Pretty dope. Tarn on them. And to finish off with a little fire, I already showed this on IG, but just to remind you guys, there you go. There you go. Uh, you were giving them a uh, shout out, bro. They, yeah, get, the they get that shit to you for free, bro. The, yeah, the one that got away. Out. Dinner, to, winner, chicken uh, dinner. Yeah, shout them out, bro. Thanks to comicbookexclusive.com and CBSI that were super cool with me on DMs and. Uh, I appreciate it. This this shit is not cheap anymore. So thank you no. very much, dude. Those covers are sick, you didn't dude. Throw away that other book that came with it, did you? The one that's just the the inside, because uh, you can see you see that. Oh you, yeah, you yeah. The time the timeline shit. variant, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what? You heard? Oh my god. You guys didn't hear about that? Someone took because all it is is just the inside, the issue without the cover, and they're nice enough to send that because they probably bought. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone see. shipped that off to CGC and CGC yeah. <laughs> listed it as a time timeline variant, a 9.8. Oh, <laughs> morons, dude. And it's on, I believe it's still on eBay. I mean, people, Is someone it? wanted to buy it. Yeah. What? Let me go. Well, they they have it for a lot of money. Jesus what is it called? What the fuck is it called? It's time, the timeline, timeline variant. Yeah, yeah timeline. So, See, that's uh, where reality. CGC fucks up because now that thing is one of a kind and it'll never yeah. happen again. So now yeah. that's, you know what I'm saying? It better be CG CGC trying to buy that shit on eBay so they get that shit back. Fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, that's it, man. Uh, no, no, no bronze age, no silver age today. Maybe next week. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right. Moving on. Who's next? Uh, who's going next? Who we got JR's, JR's JR. buddy, Diesel Dan. Diesel, Diesel Dan, Dan, bro. You, you want to do. pass it on to me or Jr. Because I got some. Uh, I got a story time for you guys to go. I've already gone. Yeah. Oh, let, yeah. me, let me go. Ne let me go next. Let's save. Let's save. Uh, Diesel Dan for a story time, bro. Yeah. So, so what's up, road, man? Yo. So like, I picked up these two books, man. It's just pretty. I don't. I don't know, man. I is. I just was like, whatever. So this is like the first appearance of uh, Richie Parker, son of Gwen and Peter, in an alternate reality by created by who? The Scarlet Witch. So no. I don't know, man. You know, who knows, man? So I just got bam, bam, like too. <laughs> bam, too. So I did whatever. I, I'll take it. Um, and then, you know, I sold my, uh, I sold, you know, I sold my 45, my West Coast Avengers 45, and I saw this at a shop for 50 bucks. I said, like, fuck it. I'll, be, I'll get it again. I was like, well, <laughs> I was like yeah, I'll, I'll get it, bro. You know, like, he's still, he's still out there, man. He's still out there, bro. Like, he yeah. flew oh, off and he's going to go and you made he's going to go. Though, he's going to make his robotic family now. He's gonna nah, sell man. his he, he's gonna sell his royal oats, bro, and become yeah, a man and come back and tell Wanda like Yo, exactly. what's up? I'm a man now, bro. I'm a man. Like, <laughs> That's why he left, dude, because those <laughs> memories <laughs> on his head, he knew he had them kids and he freaking left. He didn't want to pay no child support. He's like, I just yeah. I discovered I got a boner. You know, let's go. Then I picked this up uh two for uh ten dollars. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Or, what's his name again? Uh, uh What's his name? Help me out. The the artist. Takashi. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So for ten bucks, I was like, yeah, I'd do it, bro. And he also did the cover for uh, Nonstop Spider-Man too. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Such a horrible. I, yeah. yeah. And also the you know, man. Up. You guys know, like, uh, like Doctor Seuss books are going fucking nuts right now, like on eBay. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, so you know, man, I just was like. I'll pick up some of these, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll pick up some dude. of these, bro. Yeah. You know, like, you know, like the eBay yeah, man, whatever, Dr. Dr. Zeus books and being on sale in there. So I had to pick up one of these. Yeah, you and just then, you uh, know you got to do. You got to go to your local library and just walk out with Dr. Seuss books. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> walk out with them Clone War things, too, them Clone War books. And then uh, I picked up one of these, too. Um, so you have, you, have, you know, I remember that. You know yeah. future, future book. I mean, that's all three of the, you know, the so characters the people are, the peop, the characters that people are gonna love, you know. So um picked up that one too. 
then I found, then I got this off uh, a claim sale on uh, Facebook. You know, one of is that, these. Okay. Is that the second nice. print or the first print? That's, that. that's the Walmart. Walmart, 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 Walmart variant. variant. There, there's yeah, two was, prints. There's two prints for the Walmart variant. There is? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? This one is, uh, it only cost me $4, bro. So I was like, whatever. Oh, I, think that, I, I, I think call it a trash can print. Yeah. That one's yeah. a fake one. That's a fake one. <laughs> hey, as long as I don't have to walk in a Walmart, bro, I'll I'll pay I'll pay the money, bro. And then um at the same the same clown cell, I just picked up two of these. Because, yeah, you know, punchline. Nice. Nice. You know, like uh, he, he had third and fourth bro, running. I paid Second cover, bro. Ten, ten bucks, man. I, I was like ten bucks. He goes, all right, ten bucks. I was like, but I really think if she ever pops, this purple one's gonna be the one because that's the most that's... printed. Second and then yeah. shout out to yeah. that guy DZ and Travel and Root Beer. What's going on, y'all? What's up, DZ? And then uh for Rob for Rob, bro, like bam bam. Damn, <laughs> Rob, you didn't Where's get mine? you didn't get Where's any. Mine? Of... Where's mine? They're in Where's fucking mine? limbo, bro. I <laughs> know, bro. So they that, had to that's, our house. That's all for me, man. So let's uh let's let's do some little story time with Dan. What you got, Dan? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to take a drink for it to get ready for this. All right, bro. Oh. This is where it all turns bad, y'all. This is where it all turns bad, y'all. It's going to get worse and worse. All right. All of a sudden, you start to see the numbers in the chat grow to like 90 and shit. (laughs) This is what we wanted to see. He's he's like, I need my chaser. (laughs) Super quick. Uh, This isn't like the story time stuff, but I did get uh, this book. I just picked it up because I'm like, yeah, she's like every girl that I drew in like middle school and high school. Um. Uh, free which play book, the third print, uh, Spider Man, yeah, 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 man, Blue one. Uh, Blue one. nice. The B variant to Carmen, the booty, oh, the booty, the booty shot. shot. That's, yeah. shot. Yeah. Oh, that's part was dope. That and was then good. The regular cover to Joker, yeah, that's man. the regular cover, right? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Cool. Yeah, that's um, cover. and this is this is a tease, uh. Oh, oh man! Oh shit! Dan, when did you get that? You got that today? <laughs> no, I got that. Uh, uh what is today? <laughs> Monday. Yeah, yeah. I, yo, I still haven't got my shipping info. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I didn't get shipping yeah. info either. It just showed up. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, not everyone's getting shipping mean. info. Yeah, All right, now let me there. let me break out the the stuff here. Dude, oh, JR. There you go. JR, oh, JR. JR. Oh, that, that's a butt shot for you, JR. Okay. <laughs> um, I got kind of two like story times real quick. So the first one is my brother recently just got into comic books, and the book that he decided to buy, like one of the first books he decided to buy, um, he was like, Yo, I'm just oh, I like that cover, it's a pretty cover. I'm gonna go to the actual source and buy a couple of these. And he gifted me the Gleason oh, what? signed oh, nice. CEO. Wow. Damn. Nice. So, yeah, That's I'm like, dope. and then he got himself the signature series at 9.8. No. So wow. the dude, my brother just jumped on it. He was like, oh, yeah, I saw it on Instagram. I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to buy that. And then it just happens to be like super hot and like a <laughs> stupid amount of money on eBay now. So just got that in. Uh, the story time, the actual story time, I hope I am about to like get some tears in the chat and make some people emotional and cry and everything. And we'll see if I cry, too. Um, some of you may have heard this story or read it on my Instagram. Um, it's about a book that I got uh, given to me. Uh, so occasionally I help out and work at my local LCS, Horizon Comics. And yeah, I'm just there organizing the shelves, getting off. You know stuff off the shelf so they can get put into their back issues and in walks a guy with like a, just a, a regular cardboard box and like not not a short box or anything but he walks in with this box and the owner already kind of knew that he was bringing him some stuff just didn't really know what and yeah he brings in this cardboard box that he had mailed from his mom from like uh, from the east coast and i'm on i'm in california so shipped all the way across and this j- raggedy box and then they start pulling out books and laying them out on the table so that he can probably send them into cgc or you know see what the owner knows he's like hey you know we'll see what we can do with them right he pulls out two daredevil number ones oh what? wow oh pulls wow out early x-men x-men number four what? and then x-men number five six boom oh, boom boom shit. right 
uh, uh, early Spider Man, Spider Man number 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just and then just tons more of these Silver Age keys, right? First Green Goblin, and, and then they're all in like really good condition, right? So there's a whole conversation going on. I'm going back and forth from like doing what I'm doing and trying not to be too nosy and whatnot. But it's all it's all lighthearted. Everyone's having a lot of fun and everything. Um, the uh, the owner's wife comes over, and she she works. She she's like. The owner as well you know so <laughs> but she's working the register at the time but she came over and was like oh my gosh x-men number four like quicksilver is my favorite character right and uh he's like really you know oh that's so cool he doesn't even really the owner that brought the books in doesn't even really know that these are what? giant major keys he doesn't he had no clue that these are giant major keys right so it's all having a fun good time it's hours pass by right um, I'm up, up front at the register talking with Raquel, the owner, and John, the owner of these books, walks over and hands her a book over the counter and says, here, this is for you. He handed her X-Men number four. What? And wow. said, this is for you and gifted it to her. Oh, wow. God. Oh, God. We, I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it again. And then he turns and is walking away and he says, Sit tight, big guy. I have a book for you too. You? I'm like, and I'm yeah. like, what? I'm like, I couldn't. I was speechless. I'm like, get up. We. I look at Raquel, the owner. I'm like, what? What did you just say? So I was sit tight. No, I started walking back to the back with him, and uh, Raquel followed. And we we get to the table back there, and he said, hey, yeah, we're gonna give you a book too. Richard said he, the other owner, Richard <laughs> said, uh. He, John says to Richard, Richard knows what you like, so we're going to let him pick something. So I'm like, I'm good with whatever. I don't even care. But I'm already getting choked up because he said he's going to give me a book. And I already know what's on his table isn't trash. So <laughs> I'm like waiting, sitting like a little child, like, oh, my gosh, what is what am I going to get? Right? <laughs> and uh, uh, Richard picks out a book for me and hands uh -oh. it to me. Uh oh, and I started. Here it goes, uh y'all. -oh. oh shit! He oh, had me oh Spider Man yeah. number ten. Damn, Damn bro, dude. Damn, dude. That is a I, clean copy. It is. That this is awesome. It is super clean. Like these books weren't. They were not trash. Like by any means, these are incredible, good condition. But they're not near mint, you know. But they're just great books. And he picked these books up off the shelf, off the spinner racks or whatever, when he was a kid. So, wow. yeah, him getting these books and just kept them or whatever. And then they were on the East Coast forever. Um, he didn't know that they were still around and whatnot. And his, his mom just randomly sends them to him. And then to just walk into the shop, it was one of the biggest days in that shop. Uh, and it's just, this is why I love this community so much. Because you can just make friends and within hours and yeah. and just share so much joy of telling stories and talking about books and comic book characters. And then something like this happens. So now I feel like I'm like, I got to pay this back in some way. And I haven't figured that out yet, but eventually it will come around. So that's my show. Story. JR your feet, bro. Show, show JR <laughs> oh, your wow. feet. Yeah. Yeah. I was, was, was going to say, on. hey, Steve, your birthday's coming up, so he's going to give you a hand job. We can end it with that. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. That's a, the, I mean, I don't know if I want that gift. <laughs> Here you go, JR. I did get these as well. I got some uh, some Adidas. Oh, yeah. And my, wife's, uh, my wife hates them. But, uh, you dude, know, I got there you go, JR. JR. I paired there you go, JR. With the today. There you go, Doc J. Uh, there you go, Doc J. Suck them up, Jay. There you no, go, no, no. Come on, Jr. You know that. You know that's, that's no, 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 no. That's no. right up your alley. You're you're There's one a reason leather jacket. Eat you're one leather jacket and a top hat away from a good time. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what, the, what does that mean? I don't know, but I said it. I'll stand by it. <laughs> so we go, are we gonna get into catching up with? Her? <laughs> all right man what do you got for us alonzo all right so here we go it's it's wonder at home it's official 
Woo! And these are the players Yay. that are going to be uh, very excited. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think again, virtual, virtual cons. I just want all the exclusives. So Yo, I'm man. going to, I'm going to be on lockdown during this time. We all, we all it's thought March we'd be, 26, we, 27. we all thought we we're going to WonderCon last March. Remember, we're like, oh, hey, WonderCon will be happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking right. Bro. <laughs> it ain't happening. I can't wait. I, I just want to go back in time and tell that guy, like, shut the fuck up, man. It ain't yeah. Did we buy tickets? You know? No, right? We didn't buy tickets for WonderCon. No, it didn't happen. I mean, did we? I, think I can't I, remember anymore. I can't remember. I think I did have tickets. To <laughs> it happened last year. <laughs> didn't it? Yeah, we did it. We had tickets, didn't we? Yeah, you guys had tickets. We did have tickets. I don't so remember. So what's it? I don't remember, bro. You know, all I know is I had tickets to go to some con. I had tickets to go to some comedy, uh, some comedy show downtown, and, it, and none of those happened. I never got refunded. So it's like, well, whatever. <laughs> like so. And shout yeah. shout out to Chamorro Cinema. What's up, brother? Chamorro, what's up, man? So I don't know, man. You guys, you guys yeah, down for uh, you guys down for uh, another uh, you know online panel? <laughs> I don't think I online, can do that. Online no. recorded panel. Like they should yeah. just do that shit live, right? Like do it live. Just do Definitely. it live. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, like, I'm, I'm just looking at that IDW exclusives. I'm going to yeah. be looking at just any, like, yeah. graffiti, just stuff like that. Jay, you doing you doing live? You doing these, uh, you going to do these cons, Jay? I, I catch them when I can, man. I miss a real con. I want to go out and yeah. interact Fuck with yeah. people, dude. Like, but don't get me wrong. Like, they, this, they give you perfect opportunity to grab exclusives and stuff like that. But mm. I want to be out in the field, man, checking out cosplay butts and, you know. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Buying oh, with, with a fistful yeah. of comics, you know. Bro. But it's, but it's kind of like Dan. It's kind of like what Dan was saying with the community, too, though. Oh, JR, that, like, there you go, JR. There you go, JR. No, thank That's you. A- <laughs> uh, like I was trying to pay the fucker a compliment and he fucking does that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the fact that like how we met at a con and stuff and that's like the most of the fun is going to cons is hanging out with your buddies and just talking trash and the stories that come out of it. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's what I miss, man. Yeah, a, f- a, ha- a hidden flask that's... and good times. Yeah, these home cons fucking suck. You suck, bro. You know, like the yeah. cons are all about like, um, how can I uh, get away with shit sometimes? You know, like just figuring, trying to figure that shit out. Yeah. You know, like we can't even figure out to do get away with nothing here on this, uh, on these uh, yeah. online things, man. You know, like um, well, I don't know, I man. Try, the only thing I try to figure out is how to fast forward through all the propaganda that yeah. they have at the start of the videos. Yeah, man. I don't know. fable propaganda. Like the hellstorm one last year where. Half the video was talking about what was going on in politics and everything. Yeah, uh, just get that. Keep that right. shit. And, and this Other announcement stuff. came in today, hot off the presses. DC uh, Comics and their Pride Month and the DC wow. Pride issue. Uh, it's a lot of the covers, man. It, they're nice. Yeah, they're pretty dope, actually. Yeah, yeah they are. I will say that pretty cool. But like Yaro. Yo, like look a, at that gimmick. one. Huh, I like that one. Seems like they're using the. Ivy. Pride thing for a gimmick. Jen Bartel. Crush. Hey, this Crush one right here is it Bartel? That's dope. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's I don't Crush know how much is... of a gimmick it could be as far, I mean, because there's also not a lot of LGBTQ members that may know what characters and who might be, I think you know, there's... within their, their own community. Oh, I mm-hmm. think there's more, more LGBTQ, uh, whatever, alphabet, of uh, character, people that are in that community that follow comics. I yeah. just feel DC's right now just dying, and they're trying to get anyone they can to look their way. They're throwing shit at the wall, see what sticks. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think these covers are badass. I th- the Wonder Girl or whatever the fuck she is, that one looks yeah. awesome. Brazilian yeah. button? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a that's a girl I want to do jiu- really it's Brazilian jiu-jitsu with all day, every day, dude. <laughs> but, I mean, Image actually did this a couple of years ago. Um, yep, love is love. Undoubted. Well, they also yeah. redneck had one that yeah, love is was love a pride. gay pride one. Yeah, yeah, the redneck one. I have that one too. Yeah, I remember that yeah. one. Man. That's a good one. You know. Didn't DC do the the book as well? Where it's like apparently the big uh, first appearance of Harry Potter. Yeah, love is love. That was that was yeah. oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a cel- celebration of all of this too, I believe. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, well I think cool that one's. I think that one spun out of that horrible bar shooting, though. 
Yeah, because that right. one was, I think, was oh. to raise money for the victims' families. Oh, okay. Florida, in Florida. Right? Uh, yeah, I think Harley and Ivy make sense, man. That's a good one. You know, that yeah, makes sense I, of, they're not. I love that. You know, it's not all gimmicky, bro. It actually goes with what's going on in that. That one, know, yeah. That, yeah. That the Harley Quinn series, they really, in the Harley Quinn New Fifty Two and the Rebirth series, they really go deep on their relationship. Pause. Mm -hmm. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Let's go deep. Mm -hmm. Let's go deep. And then some oh. more uh, first appearances, huh? Yeah. So um, oh. Dreamer's getting her first appearance up here in DC Pride. And what's really cool is the actress is doing the writing for her little uh, cool. um, oh, that's cool. entry into that DC Pride book. Hmm. I liked her on the show. I thought she was a good character. Right? Yeah. And then we also have the gardener. Yeah. Who's so going to be Poison appearing in uh, Batman 107. So make sure you guys get that um, at your LCS. Yes, sir. So, is I, it really awesome pretty dope, huh? that, bro. I, I think the gardener looks awesome, but is it just me or does it feel like now they're just going, oh, we're going to take one of the old characters and we're just going to revamp them and call them something new? Well, that's kind of so. Bro. Yeah, but I mean, it seems like with, with Batman, you got Ghostmaker, which is just Batman. You've got the clown killer, whatever, is just a version of joke. Clown hunter, just a version of Joker. Punchline is a version of Harley. Yeah. Uh, what's Moxie Molly fucking weird shit coming up? Miracle is Molly. Miracle Molly. Miracle yeah, Molly. Like you, like you said, that's just comics, though. Like, aren't the watch yeah. just, you know. JR hates DC. I, no, I don't, I don't hate yeah. DC. I like you. I like hate DC. Oh, man. Oh, I, I can't wait till it, Copy comes on here, bro. And, and where's man. Copy? Copy. copy I, copy. I like Batman. Is it I just Deadpool, sick and tired of them Deathstroke, giving me these. It, you know, whoever, I'm sick just of, whoever. You know, yeah, but, wasn't it titles a rip up on Dark Side? So. But <laughs> everyone's going, oh, Tyrion's doing this amazing job on Batman. Yes. But all he's doing is yes. rehashing characters again. Yeah, but how, he is now any other writer characters. or artist, and they basically have done the same thing. In You're the on your own, bro. Okay, okay. I mean, it's one thing if it's a different person. Like, okay, you do a Brainiac for Batman, fine. But you're taking his own fucking rogues gallery and going, let me do it over again to people that already know those characters. Uh, again, people put Watchmen on a pedestal. Right, it is one of the best comic books of all time, or comic series of all time. Aren't the just Batman and all the other DC characters Wonder that he kind of get the rights to? But that was kind of the point to it. I mean, if you read Watchmen, it's because more he couldn't it. get the rights to those characters. So he said, "Well, instead of doing that, I'll just do this. I'll make new characters." But it was also wasn't his. From what I'm what I'm saying, the difference. I get what you're saying. The difference is you're going, "Hey, I'm going to take Poison Ivy." In a Batman book, and I'm gonna redo her as the gardener in a Batman book. Okay, yeah, all right. I see. What see, you're see what I've said? It, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. you're taking an X-Men character and bringing him over to Batman, and going, "Hey, here's this Omega Red ripoff." Well, hey, well how many, how many X-Men characters have we seen that are just no? There is X-Men characters. <laughs> I, it, it, I just. I'm just seeing in the short, he's only done like six issues. How many Spider-Mans are there? Well, yeah, mm -hmm. but we know I already fucking hate Spider-Man. <laughs> I, I just say, I, I just look at this run, Terry, and it's like, it's been okay, but if you're going to keep giving me these new characters or new characters and they're just going to be ripoffs of the old characters, why the fuck am I buying this? Well, we don't even know. We don't even know who she is yet, do we? Is there no, any no. info on her yet? So we can't even say that she's a rip off of Poison Ivy yet. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. She, she it's very that possible. Poison that she, Ivy. Yeah, exactly. It's very. You know, she does get that Poison Ivy vibe. Punchline has the Harley vibe. You know what I mean? It's it's right? not it's, like she's, a. She's great, dude. I understand you enjoy her. That's fine. But what I'm saying, it's the same characters. Uh, Jr. Jr. You know, I I don't know. I like Tinian, man. I mean, come Tinian on, is right and I'm, I'm am I right or wrong? I get no. I get what you're saying, dude. I, I enjoy, I, I, I enjoy Tinian's. I enjoy Tinian's run. Um, Ghostmaker's a cool character, but he reminds me of a Red Hood slash Batman. Yeah. Clown Hunter, I gotta say, and listen, I enjoy Tinian's run. I don't like that character. I don't think he should have lasted as long as he did. 
Um, but he's still there. It's like a teenage kid beating up people. He has no type of power. He's just beating <laughs> dudes up with a baseball bat. It makes no sense to me. But I, see, cool. <laughs> I, 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 I see I see what you're saying, JR. Like you got basically a chick that's into flowers in, in a fucking in a Batman book. I I, I, yeah. I get your point, dude. I, I, I happen to like the Tinian run. I like everything he's doing so far, Department of Truth and something is killing the children. But I definitely see it's a valid point. Like Come on, how many chicks, how many clown, you know, chicks are we going to get? How many chicks into flowers are we going to get? And I I like Punchline too, dude. Punchline's a great character and the background to her story, but make her a little bit different. I get what you're saying. Yeah, and and Sparks, I'm sorry, but I I get what you're saying that you, she's different, but she's still the same. I like that one, man. That was a good one, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. I can see Casey being there. Yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you know what? That's a great. That's Wesley with the save right there, bro. My favorite <laughs> Batman run is Capullo and Snyder, though. I don't think anything touches that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's Let a classic run. Quarter yeah, the Isles. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I like Jimenez too, man. I like Jimenez and, and I love his art. Up. Yeah. Jimenez's art is fucking good. See, yeah, I can't I, take I, I can't I can't take the designer variants, dude. I hate them. Oh yeah, I know. I'm not I'm not down with the designer variants either. Though. I got them all. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> traveling root traveling root beer, but I don't see how you don't see that she's a derivative of fucking Harley. Yeah, she's totally Harley's is, evolved. But, she is, man. But she Harley is, is definitely a flat out from, derivative. Totally Harley has definitely evolved from what she was originally. She you know, has and whatnot. The New 52 and the Rebirth series completely changed who that character current, was. Current Harley See, I is think, way different, yes. You know what's a great way to look at it? Say Punchline was a Marvel character. What would people say? That she's a ripoff yeah, of true. Harley. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> like, they always do that with each other. They always rip each other off. No, they always rip each other off. I mean, it, it's the truth, but it's just at least do it in a different book is all I'm saying. Well, I mean, I, I think this character looks awesome. I like, I actually like Clown Hunter. I think Ghostmaker's okay, but you're just give me the Rogues Gallery re recycled, and it's like there's a reason Batman has one of the best Rogues Galleries. I don't know. Did you see that uh, that Batman book with the Rogues Gallery? I mean, the like the villains and heroes with that wraparound. Hold on, let's pull it out real quick. For the last yeah. issue. This pull, pull this out. looks. Fucking awesome! Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's dope. Yep, that's the that cover is sick. so dope. And they kind of got Harley on the heroes team right here, don't they? Yeah, they've so switched I mean, Harley over. But I mean, if you go back to original now. Harley. Yeah. If you look at the original Harley, Punchline is a straight derivative of the original Harley. Yeah, okay. no, I, I agree with you. It totally is. They're just recycling yeah. characters, but hey, man, it's Batman. We all buy it. We're suckers. Let's move on. I mean, if, if, I, they, uh, if the paper <laughs> says. The pigeon will replace penguin. If they come out with a short, <laughs> if they come out with a short I want the short pigeon woman. I really want the pigeon, pigeon character now. I want the that pigeon of Gotham. <laughs> oh man, it's over. You saw me, Jr. I want the at, pigeon of Gotham. Look at this, Jr. You, I mean, you, 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 you thought you and Jay would be butting heads, but you guys are like all on the same team, bro. Like you got the Jr. Jay team. I said it was gonna be one or the other. I no, it's total valid bread. points, though. Totally valid. You opened my mind, man. Like I want the pigeon oh. with a piece of bread and shit. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but yeah. it's got to be like a short, fat chick. That's got to oh, be the yeah, very yeah. Uh, and they're married yeah. in matrimony just with yeah, big yeah. eyes, just constantly going <laughs> bumping. Man, they should just the they just put a you know a woman with some love on her, bro. Then they yeah. won't be copying anybody because they're all skinny, skinny, skinny women. They just say skinny women. Right? More to love. More to pigeon love. Pigeon of Gotham. Someone hit up DC. Movies and shows. All right. And here we got the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. CW uh, show. The girls are all grown up. What do you guys think? Watch definitely not going to be in high school. <laughs> I've never even watched this show, bro. I, I won't be honest. Jay, you, you watched the show back in the day? Dude, I dated a girl that always would get high and watch this, and I, I was, I was, I was hooked for a while, man. Who's, who's your pick, Jay? Are you? Uh, a I'm, go, girl? I'm going with Mojo Jojo, dude. No, no, you got yeah, the one. Girl. Mojo Jojo. Oh, one, one of them. I got a bang. Well, no, you yeah. just got to pick one of them. What's your girl? 
Uh, no, that's not fun. One of them. One of them. What's up, man? I'm going with Medu- Medusa over there, man. She got you know. She has a woman's body. As the Powerpuff <laughs> Girls, I don't know, man. That's weird picking one of them. I, I think it's Chloe, Be- Chloe yeah. Bennett, man. Yeah, you got to go, with Medusa. Look at them, them childbearing <laughs> hips. <laughs> yeah. I'm really you know feeling him. him. Is this oh animation? God. Animation or live action? Person. No, this is this is all live action. It's live action. Action. There's no way yeah. they're in Mojo Jojo. No Jojo. way. Yeah, there's the no way they're in Mojo Jojo. That's why I, yes. I think Chloe Bennett all day. Live action? Live action. The, yeah. These okay. I haven't seen that show. The end of season one, whoever's going to play Mojo Jojo, he'll probably be a human the entire season. And at the end of season one, Mojo Jojo turns into a three foot tall green monkey. Make him Danny DeVito. There you go. I just don't see how they can do it. I mean, yes. <laughs> limited screen time. That's, that's going to be really hard to do, Mojo Jojo. Is it a movie? It's a movie? Is it a movie or a show? No, it's going to be a show. It is going to oh, be a shit. show on the CW. What? Oh, CW fail. Yeah, that thing's going to go in. No, it's, it's going to have all these people Blame. with so much angst. CW, bro. Everything they do. You know, trash. Alonzo will watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll give it a chance. We expect a oh. movies and pops review on this. <laughs> <laughs> I still vote, you really, really like it. I still <laughs> vote Chloe Bennett for uh, Sarah Pizzini in Witchblade. That's my I'm I'm de- die hard on that Witch, character. Witchblade? Huh? No, I don't know. She's a little too skinny for Witchblade, man. A little more. Uh, mm. I I don't think Witchblade will ever get made a movie. It'll, it's too past its prime. I think. It probably won't, but I can still dream. So, but they would have had some great movies. No, I loved Witchblade back in the day. <laughs> like that pirate Witchblade was fucking awesome. Yeah. Chloe Bennett, though, huh? Yes. You, you met her, right, Jay? Uh, Alonzo, you met her before, haven't you, man? You and uh, Ken, she's, right? Oh, yeah. And a WonderCon signing for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And she's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. No doubt, she's man. so no pretty. Doubt. Bro, Jay, you got to come to LA and see these women out here, bro. Dude, I you, don't. They don't have to be superstars. Trust me. I know, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. As long as they man. got that, as long as long as they got that little jiggle, man, that's right up my alley, right? Yo, yo, and whose so, fault was this? Whose fault was this? Who? Yeah, who, who reported this? It, it was nobody here. I know. No, nobody no, here. no and none of us talked about this us. stuff. But this, this is brought to you by Big Rob, and uh, he he found this article here on uh, we got this covered. So Superman will be a complete reboot. No Clark Kent, no Calvin Ellis. So what people, the heck? People drop money on that Calvin Ellis book, dude. They yep. drop money. Yep. Bro. Yeah, there were mad people so, that were showing those things on Instagram, man. 9.8. Damn. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to call out Sean Cook because I know he is a big Boy in Blue fan. Please give me an idea of who, who the fuck they would do. If they don't do these two, it's a original character. What the fuck? Or, he just or, or they're, really, they're really gonna do original character with that thing. Yeah. Why? Why would you make an original character for some movie? That the most iconic character. Yeah, it's, like you're throwing the, it's like you're throwing the thing in the trash, basically. If you don't have a solid idea where you're going and you're going to revamp a character like that's going to really freaking make DC fans want to fucking line up and watch that shit. Yeah. Well, it's J.J. Well, Abrams. He already ruined Star Trek. He really ruined yeah. that fucking... What this, was that? He ruined this shows Star you how Wars. livid... Sean is a... Forgive him, he's a Mets fan also. Um, <laughs> but he's also a Superman fan, so... so the how, does, fans right there. how does that meeting go? Does J.J. or whoever just go in completely coked out their head sit down with wb and dc and go all right look guys i want a new superman he's not in the books anywhere what the fuck yeah. well, that's what he was star trek he literally threw 40 years of star trek into the trash and i'm doing a whole new shit yeah i uh I don't. I don't understand. I can't. I, I can't okay. even get behind this, bro. People. People I, drop some. People drop some bucks on them books, bro. Yeah. You know? Final. Final yeah. crisis. I don't know what <laughs> final crisis. Action comics. Watch. Sucker. It's gonna be like. A, it's gonna be a female Superman. Like. It's gonna be like a <laughs> trans Superman or something. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be uh, Shirley Kent, bro. It's gonna be Shirley Kent, man. Sure. You know, so. I, I don't know. I, don't I mean, this. how can you call it Superman then? How can this movie be called Superman? 
Bro, all I know is J.J. Abrams going to fuck it up, man. You know, like... They have to create an entirely new world. If you're not going to have Clark Kent, Calvin Ellis, Valzad, even John Henry Irons, (laughs) if you're not going to have any of these types of Superman, and then you can't have Bruce Wayne Batman, you can't have Lex Luthor, you can't have any of these characters... You aren't allowed to tap the pool of any DC's characters. I don't care. If you want to create a new Superman, a new name and everything, create a new world then. Do that. He's going to create Hancock Part 2. The the thing is also, I mean, this is almost as crazy as like the Quentin Tarantino doing Star Trek. It just doesn't make sense why you... I kind of want to see that now. I would rather watch (laughs) that than this shit. No, that is supposed to happen. Last I heard. Quinn is uh, doing I'm, a Star I'm Trek. I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, man. What's, so, what's that, what's that, that going to look like, like out dude? there? It's going to be with Shaq. Hey, hey but yes. hey, 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 it ain't never going to – you can never take Keanu, uh, uh, Reed, Christopher Reeves, bro. Christopher Reeves is always going to be the Superman of me, man. So I don't – you can pull whoever up, bro, but Christopher Reeves, man. Eminem so, tried destroyed to Christopher Reeves Superman for me. <laughs> what <are> you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that video – Yep. This is all the lyrics of the Eminem house for Christopher Reeves. Oh, Go yeah, down the yeah. list. What else we got in the slide? We got comic oh, covers. Uh, comic oh. covers. Whole lot Let's of see. What do we got here? Uh, you know what? That Jenny. That uh, not uh, that um not Jenny for it? Witch? It's, uh, no, no. That Shadowcraft man. That Justin Frenny went on sale um, on Wednesday. But she's coming up, man. I mean, she has some good work that she's been putting out. She did a dope ass uh, Sanctum Sanctorium lock and key uh, cover, and that shit was banging, yo. I had to pick it up. And who doesn't love a wrestling homage, dude? If you're not a WWF fan, and yes, I said WWF, then you just got to get the hell out, man. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yo, oh, what's, I, up with that? what's up with that? I like Shane it was Evelyn Lee. I like the silk, and I also like the, uh, the Women of Marvel one. So you have silk and you have Wanda. Uh-huh. That like Wanda, Wanda one is dope, right? Yeah. Oh, the the artist had dope. like a a, um, a time lapse of him doing that cover, and it is it's just so cool to watch it happen. And yeah, that that cover is just absolutely amazing. That's dope, um, there's something about that Noctera second print cover I really like. Yeah, same. I, I don't know what it is, but something about it I like. All right. There's there's a Berserker second uh, second print cover that's coming out too. Yeah, that I'll see yep. on here. Yeah, Ross yeah, put man. that up on his page recently, man. Yep. He just threw that out there. Jay, Jay, are you uh are you a fan of any uh historic that, exclusives? Are you that, just strictly that sil- older? That silk up there is fire, man. That, the one on the corner. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, a really yeah. really nice I book. Know. And that know. Carnage Venom is nice. Those do- those WWF homages are awesome covers, man. The one with Null, the one with Spider Man and Venom. Um, I think Frankie's did those, right? Is that a Frankie's yeah. exclusive? Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. Frankie's exclusive. Those, those are pretty yeah. badass, dude. But that silk, yeah. that's probably my favorite one up there, right? Well, I think I would, I would agree, and they sold that quick on that silk. Oh yeah. Well, Isn't is there an Incuck Lee cover as well for um silk? Yeah, yeah they got Inca a round Lee of them, has man. a regular cover, but it. The way it looks, and he has a he has a regular cover, and also the uh, one of one hundred. But it looks like silk's like bent. Yeah, it's a it's a weird looking cover. I'm I'm not a fan. That's why I like this store variant. I like that one so much better. Man, I like the peach too. I like the peach Pomoko one. The peach Pomoko Scarlet Witch, man, it's pretty dope. I mean, she's not the hot thing anymore, but I like it. You know what? That Scarlet Witch up next to Carnage. What's up with that one right there? This one right here? Yeah. That's a... I don't... yeah, I don't know what store exclusive that is, man. I, I, it... This is the first time me seeing it. Oh, the, the Wanda one? Yeah. Yeah, the Wanda one yeah. right here. This one. That's an Inhyuk Lee. I believe it's yeah, just going to be a regular variant for the Women of Marvel. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's, the one, right. that's the one Dan was talking about. The, 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 yeah. the time lapse thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Jay. You got a couple of things coming up too, huh? With the defects, bro. I had to make this for you, man. Oh yeah, that's a great picture. <laughs> yeah, we got our cold keys up. Um, that's up now. A couple of good books to grab. That you know, we always go over GPA and see what uh a book you know books that are good to grab right now that you know are gonna pop. 
Um, one of them on there was Hero for Hire, number one, Luke Cage. It happens to be way down right now, and I think that's a great book to invest in. Mm-hmm. Um, every week we do the CBSI New Comic Book Day show. That's always fun. See what's coming out. See what there is to grab. Um, what else do we get? We got our 2,500 subscriber giveaway going on, guys. A ton of great Ooh. prizes. Um, the grand prize being that High Republic number three from Comic Book wow. Exclusives. They I always, want one pro. Come on. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they always hook us up, man. He Ben over there always takes care of us. So we're not Star Wars guys, but you know what? People that watch us are, so we give it back to the community, you know? Trust me, I'd rather sell that thing on eBay right now, but we always give them away, guys. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Like, you, like you say, you got to fetch that bread, brother. Yeah, you got, you know, dude, and they're beautiful covers. I actually started reading the IDW um, High Republic Adventures, and I, I actually it's really good. like that. Yeah, it was, a, it, it was an awesome book. I haven't read mm-hmm. the regular High Republic, but I know those exclusives went. I have a set, actually, of the number ones. And uh, the number threes that were given away, and I can't believe how much money they're going for, man. The, the IDW run is really good, man. I li- I'm liking it more than the uh, Marvel run right now. You know? Yeah, it, that too. that number one. Did, did the second issue drop? No, just number one, right? Yeah, well, uh, the second, second issue dropped one, last week. The second drop last week. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. I read number one. Number one was great, man. It had everything that you would want in the first issue. Um, so I'll continue to read that, and I just. I'm intimidated to go down the Star Wars hole, man. It's 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 yeah. a lot. But I'm guessing well, if you're gonna start anywhere, start at the High Republic because it's the first like canon stories, right? Yeah, I mean High Republic basically is its own little bubble right now, and it happens before all the movies and everything, so you can read it and, and don't have to worry about not knowing stuff. <laughs> there is some Star Wars omnibuses there out there. Bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you you working out, Jay? Look, you 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 do look like a bouncer, bro. Nah, nah, trust me, I'm not the bouncer. Up. I'm uh, I'm the guy in the bathroom doing bad shit. I ain't the bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a place to be, though, brother. That's a place to be. That's, that's where you want to be. You don't want to be bouncing in the front. You want to be bouncing in the stall. Yeah, exactly. You want to be bouncing in the stall, is right. <laughs> doing something strange for a little piece of change, you know what I mean? That's you know it, it's bro. a good you, you know it's a good night when you're when you're in the bathroom around like three in the morning, bro. You know, oh like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good You know night. it's a good night when you walk out of the barn and there's you know, sun's out and people are walking to church on a Sunday morning. <laughs> that's, 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 that's when you feel great about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Hey, and uh Alonzo. Oh, yeah. So you guys got a little taste of this over at uh, Spine Ticks PSA Tendencies uh, with uh, Ian and I over talking about NBA Top Shot. So we are going to have a show about NBA Top Shot and how collectible these moments are uh, for next week. Haven't decided yet on date and time, but we are going to have a show. What do we think? Think on sale tomorrow or no? All I know is you can't even even sign up right now. I would let you guys should create an account. Right now. Right now. You're in an account. If you have the opportunity, just create an account. They They made it so you have to send an email. They're going to send you an email when when you can go in and do your account. Yeah, it's locked up right now. Because I tried. Uh, I put in. They want you. They're going to give you like a time when they when it you can do it I there's, no, there's no drop tomorrow though right there's no drop tomorrow because i've been looking no I, you're just well, getting high traffic i didn't get uh, an email and i didn't see anything on discord Either. so yeah i'm looking well, on the i have them on twitter too i didn't see anything if you read the website they do say they were supposed to do it like mondays wednesdays and fridays but they they haven't done it bro it's fucking fire bro i, I had fun i opened up I actually if you guys go follow spine ticks and they do we do a show every uh wednesday man where we uh crack out rip up in um you know cars for uh we call it uh it's this show psa tendencies and um anytime i have a pack man i'm gonna rip it on that show did you ever nice. you, you ever see this you ever see this man uh jay it's just yeah, rad, you bro. got bro again the sports cards is when i was younger dude i would always collect basketball cards mm-hmm. and baseball cards and football cards now it things are just every market is so hot man i can't believe what <laughs> yeah. these cards are going for um a buddy of mine has a LeBron James rookie card. It's like one of like 500 or some shit like that. I forget what it's called. But it's like 
140, $150,000 card. I'm like, holy shit, man. Like, Jeez. this is crazy. Bro, I thought dang. during COVID, like, people were going to lose jobs and spend less money. It was the complete fucking opposite. <laughs> yep. Right? Oh, yeah, because dude. people are looking to diversify. Yep. You know, I mean, they, they want to have something that's tangible. You know, the... They they want this, so they went to sports cards. They're even getting into comic books. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, and now I'm hearing there's what there's pretty much like digital cards, right? Like only you have it. Yeah, yes. and this is yeah. what uh, NBA Top Shot is. <clears throat> yeah, that, oh. that's that's insane, dude. Like, if you want something tangible, I I wore these socks all day long. <laughs> <laughs> they they are, are one of the all kind. for you, Steve. <laughs> Yo, one of the kind. Kind. pickle socks. No, nope, no. Nope. Hey, uh, Actually, that'd hey. be two of two. If you want to see what I mean, me and me and uh, me and uh, Alonzo, we broke it down, man. What um, NBA top shots are like on Sitch last uh, PSA ten tendency shows. It was actually I actually feel good about myself. I kind of explained it pretty well. So you know, wait, like, so like so yeah, now sure. when when you grab this, what is it on? Is it on a flash drive? Like what? No, nah, bro, it's on a fucking. It's you open it up on the internet, bro, and it's like you crack open the pack and it's a spinning fucking square. And then you press it, and then it's it's all this music, and it's a moment of them either dunking, crossing over on somebody, and shooting a three. That's, that's crazy, man. Bro, Alonzo got two dunks, bro. Like dunks are the dunks are the ones. I was like, damn. I I, I went outside after the show, and a lot, and Donna's like, you know, Alonzo won that one. I was like, yeah. How many come in the pack? Hey, you know? you know what? If if you can if you can make money, then you know what? Everybody's bro, a winner. Alonzo's Alonzo's one. We we looked it up right on the show at live, bro. And it and his fucking pack, his his one with uh, what's his name, Alonzo, that guy from the Joel Sixers, Embiid from the uh, Sixers, bro. The the least amount on it was three hundred dollars in the marketplace. And, and and how much did you pay for it, Alonzo? The pack itself was like fourteen fourteen ninety nine, so fifteen bucks. Oh, and how many comes in the pack? Brick Three. already knows, bro. Brick already knows is is a good flip, bro. Yep. You know, so, so that's you the know. thing. That's why if if you guys you need to create an account, no matter what you do, you need to create an account. Buy yep. that thing. I'm right. doing the same thing right here, bro. Like I ain't even lying, man. If people want to pay me three hundred dollars for an NFT, bro, of someone dunking on somebody, hey, man, more power to you, bro. You Ditto. know, more power to you. You know, dude, turn turn so nothing like, down but dollars. How, how does it? So is every every dunk is one of a kind? Like two people can't have the same dunk? Is that how it works? So there's ten thousand, right? They got one out of ten thousand. But if you get like low numbers within the first five hundred or the first thousand, you know, or two digit numbers, bro, those things go for like money. You so know? now is it is it like? Could it be any dunk from any year? Like, could I get Starks dunking on Jordan and then Horace Grant that, or is you it just like? Nah, they haven't done any of the legends yet. They're okay, gotcha. But I mean, if you look at the cards, think about it this way: it's like those store variants that are limited to one thousand. So gotcha. each card is limited to a certain amount, and you know, and you get to own it. And you can trade important. and sell and do whatever you got to do. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man! Oh. Holy right? smokes! No, nah, man. Uh, um, uh, Nick, his uh, he, he could his internet wouldn't work again, but he pulled one that's worth three thousand bucks, bro. He already put that shit on the market. He already sold one for fifteen dollars. You know, he got his money. He got his money back. Is it yeah. all sports or is it just basketball right now? Basketball. basketball. No, right. So uh, there's another company called Ami, and they have NFLPA. So you can, but they're not. They're like you know NFL Player Association, right? Right. So you can like take pick. You you have like a virtual Joe Montana or a virtual like Steve Young in your room, and you can take pictures with them and shit. You know, like you know, That's, um, yo, that is so crazy, dude. Ah. Bro, they, they have they have they even have like a sock they even have like you know European football and uh Cristiano uh one of their virtual Cristiano Christy uh what's his name Cristiano Ronaldo bro mm -hmm. it's so that shit sold for 25 grand man like it's crazy God, bro damn god damn you know you could buy you a GSX one 9.0 and or a 9.8 yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying dude I mean for 14 bucks and then flip that shit for 300 bucks i mean if yep. you really wanted to come up on your comic book co collection man that would be a side avenue to just hustle on man especially if you want to knock out some of those keys fuck yeah but man. you know what you know what they're you, they're this is what i think i've thought about last night they're trying to make it like a red carpet shit bro like uh you know like you know when you weigh out the club and you see all the all the people you're like i want to go to that club that's what they're trying to do man they're trying to line up everybody outside the club and making it all like exclusive and shit you know so yeah, but there's just, there's already hundreds of thousands of people already 
that have accounts. Yep. Yeah. Cause, cause but they're all there trying to get, they're all there in the drops when they um, announce these packs and stuff like that. I mean, one of the things too, they do, they do a queue system. So you would just, as soon as it hits like nine o'clock, everybody gets randomly chosen and put in a specific place in line. And you say that though, you, but you say that, right? You say like there's a hundred thousand uh, people have an account, but how many people right now in our panel have account? Just me and Alonzo. Like, and everybody wants to come to the party, bro. Rob, right. you have a account, Rob? Did you ever yeah. buy one? No, I so three of us. Yeah. yeah. So I want to pull a one out of 500 or some shit like that, bro. And like, uh, you know, you, you can, know, but, you can. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. then, uh, then, uh, me and, uh, me, me and Nick, Nick, this is, uh, me and Nick show. We, we're doing our cell phone balling show, uh, on the 20th, man. And we have Omega Comics and we have ETA Nick is, you know, part of our panel. They're part of the crew, man. They're, uh, you know, we're all, we're all like a financial family now, man. And we're going to talk about NFTs. And that's what these are, basically, man. They're NFTs on a blockchain. Um, I know, um, you know, uh, Bolo, he put up a really good um, post on Instagram. Um, and it talked about an NFT. What, what is an NFT, man? So if you guys want to go to go to Bolo's uh, Instagram, he put up, it was a really good explanation, man. Like, you know, are you fucking buy? Who bought fucking? What's that game called? Um, uh, the the popular game that kids are playing. That you can buy shit and make your you know kid you know Roblox. Oh, Fortnite, 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 Roblox. Fortnite, and Roblox, right? Roblox. People are, people are buying all these fucking things, right? Like you can put like buy a new gun yeah. or buy a new hat and do dances. That's a form of an NFT, but it's not yeah. an NFT because an NFT is on a blockchain. That's what make it, it makes an NFT, but that's a form. I mean, if you think about it that way, bro, like that's what we're buying up with these top shots, man. You know, it's just like a, a tangible form of a collection that's worth money because other people want it, man. So um, we're going to talk more about that and about like different, um, you know, different companies we're, we're investing in in the NFT world. And then we got our top picks, man, coming up on Sunday, man. So that's about Oh, and um, um, go ahead. I was going to say tomorrow we've got the Kelly Thompson interview dropping. Yep. So we got to be there. Kelly Tom, yep. Kelly Thompson's dropping in, and then um, let me see this. Uh, we got Kelly Thompson drop in, and if I can learn how to work this real quick, um, I'm going to be on tomorrow over with uh, Comic Book Cannon Man. So if you guys want to catch me over there on Comic Book Cannon Man, like uh, sub them up, bro, and um, we're gonna we're gonna go live and have fun, man. 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Nice. Pacific time, man. So. Anybody else got anything going on? Dan, man, what you got, bro, besides those beautiful feet of yours, man? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I'll just oh. oh. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Damn, you got to highlight that guy. Up, man. I like that guy. I like that <laughs> you guy. Might, you might stand up, and then you might hit down, hit the floor real quick. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, just go to uh, Instagram, Diesel Dan Comics, and follow me and talk and how, you know, all that stuff. Have a good yeah, time. Man. <laughs> yes. He posts pictures of his feet and everything for y'all, man. So like uh, it's only it's, fans, it's, only fans. It's beautiful, man. Hey man, and uh bro, uh Steve, man, I know I know you got something going on, bro. JR, like, slide up in the uh, DMs. Nope. Yeah, yeah, we got so we again we are pushing on major interviews and getting uh content creators. No, bro, our, no, our no, no. But you about to get you about to get interviewed somewhere, bro. Oh, with Roger. Oh, my God. Come on, man. I was going to say, we got Roger. I'm going to be on Roger's show on the 29th, Three Men in a Basement, the Cranky Canadian. I'm also going to be on Comic King's show very soon. I got uh, in the works with Copy 801. We got some uh, Dragon Ball Z talk that we're working on. We just got to nice. get those dates. Awesome. And, um, they, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that world tour, baby. That's it. You know, from east to west, man. There but we go, also yeah. got a but I, but I want to also say we got some uh, interviews also coming up. We got Matt Kent coming uh, in hot on Saturday. So we're going to go ahead and record that. Um, and we had to um, – we're going to have Brian uh, Br uh, Brian Hawkins from uh, Black Cotton, man. Come on. We got it. We're going to have John Boy Myers on the 19th. We're going to – 
really John dig Boy. deep man, and, and just John bring out Boy, some man. of the interviews, man. If you guys want to see certain artists, certain writers, certain interviews that you guys are interested in, you know, shoot us a DM. Let us know who you guys would be interested in, man. We'll try and – Alonzo and I will definitely try to set that up, man. We want to make sure that we're bringing back to the community. Everybody's been pushing on all their shows, man. And, I mean, it's been such an amazing thing to see the community just booming, man. And, you know, we support you as much as you support us. So we just want to be able to give back. We're missing out on these cons. Eventually, hopefully, we get out of this COVID rut and we can all join in together and freaking meet each other and freaking have a – just – Damn good time, dude. That's uh, that's what I'm waiting for, man. I want to get to Terrific Con, like Jake was saying, man. Yeah, we yeah. all got to hang out, man, for sure. So I, I got a quick question, though. We all know DC's train wrecks come out tomorrow. Marvel, oh, yeah. usually, <laughs> Marvel <laughs> usually goes, DC, that's cute. Here, let me do something. Oh, yeah. They've got nothing coming out this week. Do you think uh, they're going to drop something special just to give a fuck you to DC? Trailer? Trailer something to... Eternals to, to go against that uh train I don't, think, coming. I don't think they have to. They do all their talking through uh yeah. Disney Plus. But now. they always but they always do. Well they have to want the like, vision back, uh, behind the scenes shit tomorrow, right? Right. But I'm wondering, do you think there's gonna be something we don't know is gonna happen? Like they'll give like the a sneak peek of Hawk or Falcon Winter Soldier or something. I could oh, see really? that. I could, I could see after the one division, the making of, they could drop the Eternals. I'm, I'm pumped for the Eternals, man. I think Eternals is going to be crazy. Um, well, they, they, got, they got Eternals. They got Shang, they already they filmed Shang Chi already, so they got that right. Because um, I just know they, they typically whenever DC goes, hey, here's this big thing, Marvel within like a day goes, yeah, that's cute. Here's like the was the meeting when they. I think it was DC announced it. Oh, we're doing the the Snyder cut, and then the next day was the shareholder meeting. It was like, oh, here's all these Marvel movies you're going to get, all this Marvel stuff you're getting. Star Wars, too. yeah, and Star Wars too. Bro, they just they just taking a break, bro. To do you, do you have any bitches. predictions, Jer, of what they could do? I, I, I mean, I think that we'll we're going to get some type of preview of like Eternals or. Shang Chi, something like it's some big clip out of those. Yo, Diesel, please don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> you just imagine is, him just like he's already swirling, and all of a sudden, is just, that your other fetish? Oh, bro, this is just how I naturally. Am. I'm just saying that's not the way to go. That's not the way to end the show, bro. I'm just saying. Yeah, let's do that. You gotta, and you, you gotta get me more liquor than that to make me throw up. Come on. And yo, Ooh, man, like um. History. I just want to thank you know technology, bro, because we're on fucking whatever. What is it called? Uh, Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, brother. I have no Twitch. idea, man. I love you, Twitch. Yeah. Now you guys are cool. I have no. Do you do you know what Twitch is? Uh, Jay, I'm I'm out of it, bro. I'm old. Dude, we're I'm old Twitch? too. I barely know I'm what old. the fuck stream. Yeah, you don't even know what Fortnite <laughs> right, is. Bro, what the oh, fuck? Ass. Are we broadcasting to Twitch? Yeah, we're broadcasting yeah. on Twitch. I had to I fucking mean, Google it, bro. I didn't know I didn't know where to go. I googled Twitch and it showed up, bro. I was yeah. Like, okay. I I see. I seen Sith mention it the other day. I'm like, I did the listen. The last thing I need is TikTok and Switch. Instagram's pushing it for me. <laughs> oh, That's enough for me, dude. Come on, Butch. We'll get you on TikTok too. <laughs> the, the only thing I like, you know, bro. The we'll only get, thing you're I doing like the Gundam about, style dance. The only oh. thing I like about TikTok is the dancing girls, bro. Like, oh, dude. Girls. Oh. That's Chatterbait, man. I discovered Chatterbait. Yeah. I'm like, man, this is great. <laughs> yeah. What's Chatter? What's Chatter? What's Chatterbait, bro? Oh, oh man. <laughs> what do you think it is? It's just like, like being at the strip club, dude. It's awesome. What? It is. Ooh, it's, 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 it's not like yeah. that. <laughs> Chatterbait? They're like, they're like, pay me in Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> much. Right? Let's go. I have to go dude, to that I'm, next. I'm, I'm down. Chatterbait, here I come. I got Yo, some dude. dollars. Yeah, I got some well, dollars. Well, you don't want to go down, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, hey, that might be hey, that might be a pothole. It's a little it's a, it's, just, it's interesting. Yo, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Yo, all, Yo, I'm all, sure Steve's been there plenty of times. Yo, Sith, oh, let's, let's, let's yeah, do Chatterbait me. next. Sith, Sith, let's do Chatterbait next. Sith, let's, let's do Chatterbait. <laughs> let's go on there next, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man, oh, that's man, like that bro. chat roulette. I'm going to pass it back over to Steve, bro. But thank you, Twitch. Uh, yeah, man, you've made this old man like kind of cool again, you know, so. <laughs> How do I sign up for JR's OnlyFans? I, he doesn't have an account yet, I don't <laughs> think. But I can help him sign up for one. 
It's fucking yeah. Roy Donkey. It's gonna make, make him pancakes all day. He, he might send you some fans, dude, to, to, to show that uh, thoroughbred ass of yours, bro. We can link up and cross promote. Ooh. So don't link up. Nobody wants to link up, dude. Like, you can't link up. Well, then, then we just need to get Alonzo to dress up as a punchline. We can oh have all God. three there. We have Alonzo's face on there. My ass and your feet. Nah, I, and, I'll, and I'll be there I'm taking down. the picture. Yeah, that's hey, it. That's it. Hey, I don't hey, want to look at anything else though. Hey, Jay, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be subscribed to it on Chatterbait. Chatterbait. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm looking at Chatterbait tonight, bro. I, Ian can be man. the Ian can be the the fluffer. I could be the fluffer. Bro. I'll be the fluffer. Whatever, whatever fluffer is, bro, I'll be the fluffer. Bro. Yeah, I'll be the fluffer. Oh my god! Well, thank you all for joining the show, Jay. Thank you for joining us, Jay, man. Oh, thanks for having me. Really this, is, this, is man. this is great, man. Long overdue, man. We 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 uh support the principal defects. If you guys aren't subbed up, damn it, you got to need you need to sub up. Or Guy Ford is going to be like, "What are you? What are you born under a rock?" Yes. You best to know support the support the community, y'all. Principal defects doing big things, and we all for it, man. So with that yeah. being said, if you want to do it right, collect what you like. Bam. Peace. <laughs>
Iron Geek, bro. Where's Iron Geek, bro? Is he still here? Congrats, congrats. Oh. Congrats. Now we'll we'll find him on uh we'll find him over on uh on, on Instagram, man. DM. But yeah, shoot every if, shoot him. Hey, if you guys can, man, on the live chat, shoot him, man. Say hey, you want something on the team nerder, man. But uh that's it, man. So uh, you know, for I'm gonna turn it back over to Steve, bro. No, let the butcher do it. <laughs> do yeah, what, do what butcher, you want to do it. Hold on, come on, man. Hold on, hold on. Just, yeah, close just close it any way you want. Guys, till next time. We'll see you then. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's the second goodbye. Spain is good. Yeah. <laughs>